Hi, I'm Grant McComey, and welcome to Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. You know, Oregon is blessed with an abundance of rivers, and of course, these rivers have exciting, thrilling whitewater rapids, and that's the backdrop for today's adventure, but with a different spin. We're also searching for that premier game fish of the state called Winter Steelhead. So grab your rod and reel. Don't forget the waders. We're going out for whitewater steelhead. What a gorgeous day, not a cloud in the sky. Sun up arrives cold, clear, and early in spring. We wear these all the time. Especially when the fishing is your thing. Perfect water for this type of fishing. Just, it's perfect. As the sun streams meet a river's rapids, lucky anglers find Oregon outdoor adventure on Tillamook County's Nestucca River. All right, let's go catch some fish. We've gathered to run the river's rapids with John Kronhofer, who casts baits for king size steelhead from his 15 foot inflatable raft. These rafts are designed for white water. I've just adapted them to fishing. With the rafts, if I hit a rock, I just bounce off of them. It's no big deal. Just on the other side of that current there. We cast into secret spots where John's caught steelhead before, with bobbers and brightly colored yarn flies and jigs for bait. I can take people fishing that have never fished before in their life, and within 30 minutes, they're effectively fishing for steelhead. You watch the bobber. When the bobber goes down, you set the hook and you've got him. John's hooked on a plan that needs angler assistance, catching wild steelhead not to keep, but to keep alive for a fishery future. All right, McComey, let's go down here and see if we can catch one. This is, this is one of my favorite spots when the water's this height. State fishery biologist Chris Knutson took a day off to join us. It's a great way to get anglers involved in participating in development of their fisheries. They provide the fish, the broodstock fish, for our program, and uh, it's just a great way to engage the public. And that's where I come in. Nice and easy. What is it? Big old fish. I don't know if he's got a big old stick or, or what he's got here. Seems to be lively, though. This is pretty cool. Oh, it's a nice little fish. And I think oh, that's a big a fish. Little. That's a... That's one, that's a male for the broodstock tank. Knutson says the Nestucca broodstock program needs 60 adult fish. That's about 1% of the run. The fish provide 90,000 eggs for a hatchery program that'll eventually provide steelhead anglers can keep. Woo! The 12 pound male is exactly what the program needs and Knutson's raft has what the fish needs. We fill them full of water, we have a small 12 volt battery and a system plumbed inside to provide fresh circulating water for these fish and they do really well in there. Breathing nice, just a beautiful fish. When you least <laughs> expect it. <laughs> I thought it was the bottom. Yeah. I, oh my, the bottom's moving. <laughs> and so must we on the fast track down the river. Now normally a fishing trip comes to an end when we reach the takeout, but not today. We're taking my steelhead down to the hatchery where it promises a new fishery future. The angler caught steelhead have a new home at Cedar Creek Hatchery. The fish will be live spawned later this spring and then returned to the river. This is a really unique opportunity to, to get the anglers out there, get them involved in developing their own fishery, and they see the, the benefits and returns from those when these fish come back. It's a promising program that'll keep anglers coming back to the Nestucca River. The Nestucca River is one of several Oregon streams that participates in a winter steelhead broodstock program, and they are always on the lookout for volunteer anglers to lend a hand. But you must register with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to participate. You can find out how to do that on the Travel Oregon website. Now let's take a look at next week's adventure. It's a place as close as your own backyard, filled with experiences that are a world away. We set a goal to make this a destination. Where you can watch little fish grow and catch big fish from the sea. Great place for people that uh, can't get around as well. 
you know, if they're disabled. I've seen blind people down here fishing. It gives them an opportunity to catch fish. Where education centers on the natural world. If it wasn't for them, those kids wouldn't have this opportunity, and it's such a great opportunity for them. And wild surprises wait at every turn. There's a lot of wildlife around here, bald eagles, elk I've seen up in the, up in the grassy area up here. It's just a beautiful stretch of river, and it's gorgeous. On the next Grant's Getaway, discover the many faces of Oregon's visitor-friendly hatcheries. The life cycle of salmon and steelhead and the importance to the culture of Oregon, it's a special place, there's no doubt about that. Don't miss it. So until next week, get out here and make your own outdoor adventure dreams come true and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.